them just in my back garden. Um, I just have like a jungle back garden, tropical sort of plants, and I've got wood chip paths. And in the chip, I put some King Strafaria wine cap mushroom spawn. And uh, I've just got a few coming up here that I'm going to have with my sausage sandwich today. slug damage on them, they'll be fine. So that's the three little mushrooms chopped up. What I've actually decided to do, because I wasn't planning this video or anything, I'm going to actually dig up, well there's the slug, he can stay there, don't worry. Um, actually decided to wash my hand. I'm going to dig up some of the mycelium that is just below the new wood chip that I put in. And I'm going to put some down the field, down the small oven, around the wood chip, around the veg garden. Because I don't mind at all if we have some edible mushrooms popping up there. I've got plenty of other different types of mushroom popping up in the wood chips, so I'll do that in a minute after lunch, I think. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. So I'm just scraping the fresh wood chip off, and you can see there's the mycelium, little bits of wood chip that are just smothered. And I've even got a little mushroom in there, a big clump there. So there's, as I scrape back, especially where the mushrooms were, there's quite a lot of mycelium there. So I'm just going to get this up and put that in some wood chip down the farm. So as I get down here, it's a real mat you can see that that's actually it's quite solid there look at that that's pure mycelium there so i have had other mushrooms popping up in the garden but it's mainly the wine cap which i put the spawn in about two years ago so i'm just going to hook this back every little white bit i see i'm just going to get them out I've got some nice fresh wood chip I chipped last weekend. I've got a mountain of it down the farm, so I'm just going to thicken up some areas in the veg garden, and I will just put put this mycelium in with it. Oh, that's a nice chunk. Look at that, a solid, solid mycelium in there. I used to grow a lot of mushrooms in bags a few years ago, a bit of a hobby. Um, and this was just one of the things I did when I did my started my jungle garden. Um, it's quite easy to do. Um, when you're growing in bags, you have to sterilise everything. But this is just... I've got some real good chunks here. This should just take quite well. Fresh wood chip is, is what you want to put it into. Like I said, I've got stuff that's about a week old. Um, so that should do me, I reckon. So I'll try and do it with one hand. I'll go down the farm now. Just going to have a cup of tea. And then we'll get this put in the veg garden. So I've got my bag full of mushroom mycelium. I've already put a little bit down there. I'm just going to sprinkle some over this area here. I'm going to keep a little bit back and I might put some over that side as well in a couple of places. Um, and I might actually as well just break up a little chunk 
and put it in my big pile of wood chips. I've got a whole big row over there, um, five huge loads from all my wood chipping. My, my very good friend uh, bought his wood chipper and his box van. So we chipped everything into the van and we managed to get it all up down over here. So it's in, in a big long pile where I can actually use it. I might actually inoculate the whole pile because it's going to be there for a year while, while I use it. Um, so might get a few mushrooms off it. Who knows? I, I don't know if it can sort of get into big piles that sort of size, but we'll we'll do that anyway for a bit of fun. Um, so basically all I'm going to do is these big bits, I'm just going to crumble them up. Um, like I say, this, this is nothing like what I did as a, as a bit of a hobby was I grew oyster mushrooms and various different types of mushrooms in bags and I, I built myself a steamer out of an old dustbin with a paint stripper, a wallpaper stripper, sorry, steamer thing and, and I built like a steamer and I, I'd steam all the substrate and sterilise everything um, and I did it for a while and it's quite enjoyable but I actually just like doing things naturally like this. So this should inoculate fairly well. This, this is basically how I did um, my back garden and I've been getting mushrooms there for a couple of years now. Um, I just bought some substrate off a company online. I can't think of the name of it now and uh, just put fresh wood chip on top and that, that worked perfectly well. So I'll save that little bit to do a bit up there and to inoculate the pile. And all I'm gonna do is just literally tip a load of wood chip on top and I'll just go and grab a second barrel load so that's the second load of wood chip just want to give it a good a good couple of three inches a couple of inches probably over the top and then it's quite important um, obviously when you grow mushrooms in bags you have a sealed a sealed environment and you get the moisture right from the start and you don't have to worry when you're doing it like this you want to make sure you give it a water especially if it's a hot day hot dry windy day and it's drying everything out make sure you keep it moist uh, so the mycelium can run and then hopefully maybe later on this year i'll get some mushrooms if not it'll be next year I can't remember if I got mushrooms in the first year in my garden. I think it might possibly have been a few, a handful, in the autumn. Um, but it doesn't really matter. I'll, ju I'll just figure, you know, I've got a lot of a lot of wood chip paths here. You know, if you actually look at the amount, half the half the area is probably wood chips. So I may as well get something that I can crop off of the wood chip. So. You know, hopefully this will work. I can always grow some more mycelium anyway. You can actually buy it in either in spawn bags or you can buy um, syringes with the spores in to inoculate your own uh, sterilized substrate. But just buying the bags is easy enough. It's 20 quid. I think I've got two kilos for 20 quid. Um, so yeah, just keep it moist. You don't want it to, to dry out when it's fully established. You know, I don't water the garden one. It obviously gets a bit of water on it, the back garden, when I'm um, watering the plants. But other than that, I don't specifically water the wood chip paths where it's growing. It's kind of established now. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So that should take hold, hopefully. Um, I've got a little bit saved there. So I'll do a bit over there. But let's go and put a bit in the wood chip pile for a bit of fun, see if it takes. So this is my massive wood pile. Probably... 15 meters long and about four meters wide meter meter and a half um, nah, just over a meter meet me, 1.2 or 3 high so a lot of wood chip, that was five big transit box fans full to the brim literally to the brim um i don't know <laughs> whether this will colonize and I, I should have probably had a 25 kilos of spawn or something but anyway just for a bit of fun i'm just going to chuck a bit in here I'll keep it watered, chuck a bit in there, chuck a bit in here, I'll put it sort of in the side so I can keep it, keep it watered, and just a bit of fun, it doesn't matter if it doesn't take, or even if it just sits there and grows a little bit, 
when I come to use it, it will inoculate wherever I put it. So, just a bit of fun. But like I said, I can keep that watered and it might get into it a bit. You never know, I might get a few mushrooms pop up this side. Who knows? I'll just have to make sure I remember if I need any for the paths sooner that I take it from the ends. I've already taken a little bit from over there to refresh the paths at home because um, there's certain areas there was a bit more conifer just in the edge up there and right down the bottom and all this middle stuff was all the hazel and a fair bit of willow as well which should colonize fairly quickly for mushrooms so anyway it's a few mushrooms in and hopefully the ones in the veg patch will colonize and I don't mind if it spreads around the whole of the veg area I don't mind I've got all sorts of mushrooms pop up here and there um, not edible ones I don't think little the little ones you get all over wood tip quite regularly um, and a few other bigger white ones not quite sure what they are but if I can get some wine caps popping up then that's edible food growing in the veg garden isn't it you know making use of the wood chip path so anyway bit of fun but take it easy guys and we'll see you next time bye bye